Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about type of distal radius fractures. You must have heard about Barton fracture, Bowler Barton, Dorsal Barton, Coley's, Smith, Choffers, Dykeman's. They are all distal radius fractures. But how we can differentiate to each of them? Because the management does change according to the type of fracture, configuration, and type of fractures. So to classify the type of distal radius fracture, we can segregate them in two types. First one is an extra articular fracture. So extra articular fracture, these are Coley's fracture and Smith fractures. Then intra-articular fractures, those are Schoffer's fracture, Dipunch fracture, and Barton fractures, Bowler or Dorsal Barton fractures. So if you talk about extra articular fractures, these are metaphyseal fracture of distal radius. These are the most common type of distal radius fractures. But the Smith and Coley's, the differentiation is only in the type of displacement, the direction of displacement. So when the distal radius part displaces in a dorsal direction, which is more common. So this is a dorsal direction. When it displaces in a dorsal direction, which is more common, it is a Coley's fracture. When it displaces in a volar direction, then it is a Smith fracture. So dorsal displacement is a Coley's fracture and the volar displacement is a Smith fracture. Now, what about intra-articular fractures? So intra-articular fractures can be Barton fractures. So Barton fractures are fractures of distal radius articular surface in a coronal plane. So this is a coronal plane fractures. But this coronal plane can happen in a volar part of distal radius or in a dorsal part of distal radius. Depending upon in which surface of distal radius is fractures, it can be called as volar Barton fracture and dorsal Barton fractures. The important thing to remember about Barton fracture is that there is associated radiocarpal joint subluxation and dislocation because the articular surface is displaced with the force of fracture and there is a split in the coronal plane. Now, there can be one another type of intra-articular fracture which is die punch fracture. So what is die punch fracture? In die punch fracture, the lunate fossa of distal radius, the articular surface of distal radius have a scaphoid fossa, lunate fossa. So the lunate fossa of the distal radius get axial compression and the surface get depressed inside the joint. So this is called as die punch fracture. And the last one is Schoffer's fracture. What is Schoffer's fracture? Schoffer's fracture is a fracture of radial steloid. So radial steloid fracture is a Schoffer's fracture. So this is how we will know five types of distal radius fractures which is common and we need to know about. I hope it will clear your doubts and you will be able to remember these things in the exam very easily. Okay, see you. Bye.